Hey guys, pretty nice day here in the north today, I tell ya. The date today, August 23rd. Today's day three of uh, hunting, day four in the mountains here. So yesterday, when the hunters were way up on the backside of that mountain, they were doing some scouting. And they spotted some sheep on the backside of this mountain, on the next mountain over. So we're gonna get our gear on, <coughs> gear on here, our packs on, we're gonna hike straight up, not straight up, but right up the back of this mountain, end up on that nice knob up there. And we'll do some scouting from there. So it's gonna be a pretty good day today. So we're all pretty much ready now. Ready guys? Yep. yep. Right on, let's get the party started. Stay in camp today again with Dad for today. <coughs> uh, I'll pack Dad's 7mm Ruger here. My 300 or his 300 that I was borrowing, the scope is all filled up with uh, condensation, so that's no good. So, okay, guys, we're running out of daylight. So we're about halfway up the mountain behind camp here. Uh, one, I don't know if you'd call that the summit or not, the one last little final push on the top to get us up to the top. So now we'll see any hopes those are rams that he seen yesterday. Hey, well. So two of them are quite a bit bigger than yeah. the other ones, so. Well, we'll find out anyways. Should be. And I'm sure those aren't the only sheep on the back of this mountain. Once we get up here, we're gonna see a whole different whole bunch of mountain ranges so we could really scout the area so it'll be good. So I also fucked my GoPro so I just got my HD camera. I've got wet so probably won't have much see much GoPro footage today. Jay's got one so we'll do a little bit but but whatever huh. So it'll be a good day today. These guys are all hurting from their fucking <sighs> 15 kilometer hike my dad took them on yesterday down the side of that big fucking mountain. <laughs> fucking slave driver. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> yeah. Your dad is so hardcore, man. <laughs> Rough, huh? So hardcore. <laughs> For fucking 50, fucking 6 years old, he's 50, 59. 59, 59, years old. Uh, 59, he sure can still give her, huh? Oh, like way better. <laughs> almost well, killed us. Yeah, no. I know, I know exactly what you guys are talking about. Give you guys a little look at the area we're in before we head her back up. Nice morning here anyways. Blue sky all the way around. We shouldn't get rained on today. Okay guys, we're going the other way. Yeah, just about at the top here. You can see the camp from up here. See our camp down there, there's dad in the boat. I don't usually don't zoom, but I'll try and just zoom in a bit. Dad and Charlie in the boat out doing whatever they're doing. I don't hear a motor. Yeah. Paddling? Yeah, he's probably just out scouting. Just out in the boat here. The boys are just heading up that mountain there. I can see him up there, about halfway up the gray. Not sure if you can see him here. I'll try to zoom in a little bit on him. You can see him standing there in the middle there, sort of. Long walk. Yeah, they're both in the middle there. They got a little ways to go yet. But yeah. how you guys doing? Hunting out, hunting out its finest, man. Oh, this Day is, three, man. This is real fucking hunting. Day man. three, it, ten kilometer hikes uphill, up a mountain every day, all day long, all day long. Don't get much harder than this, huh? It's the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah, no, this is this is fucking hunting, man. This yeah. it's not on a boat. You're not on a skidoo. You're fucking backpacking. You know, this is. This is hunting at its finest, man. Not a whole lot of people could fucking even do this shit. 
You know, you gotta be in pretty good shape to be able to climb up these fucking mountains. <laughs> and then pack fucking 40 pounds of meat down or whatever, huh? Okay, we're just about up at the peak there and the whole world is gonna change once we get up over that little summit there. Okay guys, we went that away into the sun. Pretty much at the top here. Pretty nice view from up here. You can see right down there is our tent. There's no name lake there. And uh, on the other side of the back mountain here, a beautiful little lake here on top of this mountain. It looks really deep. It looks crystal fucking clear. So to make our plan here, we're gonna get up a little on a little higher ground and we're gonna Take our spotting scopes out, binoculars, have some lunch, and uh, do some scouting. And hopefully, we can pick up those sheep that these guys spotted there yesterday. So there's all these little crevices and stuff for sheep to be hiding, and this is a good area because the sheep gotta come down to drink from the tops of the mountains, and this is a prime place for them to come. So we can head up there just a little bit more. Good, huh? It's good stuff. Right on. Yeah. That wasn't so bad. Can't wait to go for a swim in that. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll definitely go down there because when we when we go back, we'll take a different route and we we'll go right down on the yeah. side of it. Okay, we're going up that way. Okay. And you see on the very far high peak, that's a mountain that the sheep were on there, I guess, in that area. So we're gonna hike down the side of this to the lake. Then I guess we'll just walk along the lake, go around it that way, scouting both ways. Hopefully we can find some sheep in between uh, all these gullies or mountains or hopefully we see something here. It'll be good. It'll be a nice walk up there. It's not too much of a steep. It's kind of a gradual slope of uh, hogs back. So it'll be good. I've been in this area before, so it's, it's a real nice area. But we're going to go down and go swim in that lake first and cool off. And then we'll go from there, man. It'll be good. We're just having a little break here. Sure is nice here, man. Holy fuck. Hey, well, we're gonna get blood today. I think so. I hope so, yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah. So we're going down that way. The lake, some fresh water. Just telling Jay, I wish I had my selfie stick, which is sitting in my cabin doing nothing on my coffee table. Oh, look at the ground, Andrew, not the camera. Bucket <laughs> sure is pretty here. So we made her down to the lake here, had a nice uh, bath and cooled ourselves down. So we're all rehydrated and ready to go is pretty up top here this is actually on the back side of the top of the back side of the mountain that right straight behind camp of course well you've seen where we just came from and that's where we came down we came right down that strip of trees there but right between the two rock ledges from the top so it was a little steep there in the middle but we made her down anyways so now what we're gonna do we're gonna follow the lake's edge we're gonna head up to them mountain ranges on the back there and hunt and scout that area. That's where the sheep were, so they shouldn't have gone too far. They'll still be in one of these mountain ranges fairly close. So, it's gonna be good, man. It's uh, easy going now. We're up top of the mountain now, so if everything's looking down, uh, all the walking pretty much will be downhill, other than getting up on that hog's back up there, so, good. 
know, up in the mountains, up here there sure is a shit ton of blueberries. Or huckleberries, I think these ones here are called, but they're everywhere, man. By the hand poles. Holy fuck, look at that. All over the place. Everywhere you go there, you'll find them, huh? I'm sure the grizzly bears are just nice and fat now. That's fucking good. Yeah, one handful. Good man. We're back up on the ridge here where we kind of want to be. Uh, plan was to cross onto that next hog's back there, follow it up, and then hunt both these canyons because on that mountain there is where the sheep were spotted from. But they were spotted from way, way across the lake, huh? So there's a big gorge here. <laughs> be a pretty tough one, pretty steep one to crawl down this little creek down there and then hike up the other side. I thought it would have been easier going, so we're going to follow this hog's back right up here. Give you guys a little look at the area here from up top. Sure is pretty up here, man. No sheep yet, but we'll just keep a positive attitude and we'll pop our head over the next little mountain top there and hopefully they'll be sitting there. There's a lake back there. There's a couple little things I checked up there on this little bone here. I don't know what kind of bone it is. Uh, it could be moose. I think it's too big to be a caribou. It could be bear. Who knows, huh? It could be a human for all I know. And this old shed here, when you see the animals, the rabbits, you sure chew on it. So anytime a moose or a caribou or any, any antler gets dropped, the critters, they chew on them and take the calcium out of them. So not really much left of this one here, huh? It's been chewed up, you know, this could be 30, 40 years old for all I know, but I thought that was kind of cool. usually come across them. I'm not going to keep the shed, but I'm going to keep this bone with me though, so I actually found this bone on the back side of that mountain coming up, and the shed I just found uh, 30 yards over there. I didn't see the other one, but it's probably eaten up. So anyways, we're going to take a little break, have some lunch here. Uh, start hiking here, keeping our eyes open and scouting all these little canyons for sheep. So they've seen eight of them here, they're not too sure which one was on that one or maybe the farther one. But we're going to go up there and hopefully we can find them. Yeah, that's the plan anyways. So I think we're on the end of the line here. It's uh, 5 o'clock in the afternoon now and we've never seen no sheep yet but we're going to take a different route going home, so hopefully we, uh, hopefully one pops out there or something, uh, we'll see. Other than that, it was a beautiful day, beautiful hike, a little bit too warm for this, so, but, like I said, we ain't home yet, we still got to walk back, so, we'll take a different route. It'll be easier, it'll all be, all be downhill, so, that's good. Uh, the mountain the sheep are on, they're not on anymore unless they're on the back side of it and the guys don't want to hike over to the next one. Neither do I really. That's a, it's still a long more fucking way to go, huh? Then of course, you gotta remember you gotta pack that sheep back in your uh, backpack as well. So to go down that big gully and then up the other side and peek over the other mountain, by then it would be fucking 8 o'clock at night and that put us back at camp in the dark and that'd be no good. So kind of dangerous here. You really gotta be careful and you're hiking along and uh, you know if you twist an ankle or something it should be a fucking tough old go out of man. Anyways guys we're gonna get geared up here and uh, hike back down. There's a little creek over on the other side. We'll hit that creek. We'll walk back down, follow that. Uh, that'll take us back to No Name Lake. And it's just a matter of walking along the lake back to camp. That's good. There's a nice caribou standing there. Look like two little ones, little bulls maybe. Yeah. So we shot one, he's down there. We'll go have a look at him. And uh, looks like we're cleaning a caribou. We're on our way back, no sheep. Uh, we did put on quite a few miles. We're fairly close to camp too. And uh, so we took a nice woodland caribou. That's a good one, man. Okay, let's go have a look at our caribou here, right on. So there's another one there. 
Looked like there was three together coming up this valley here. Yeah, he's right down there. Yeah, he's yeah. taking off there. So one is a lot of meat for us to carry. So we only shot one. Oh, look at that. That's a good shot. That's good. You know, it's not an overly big caribou, but it, that's less meat to haul back. The meat will just be tender. There's probably more here if we scoped out the area. I didn't even see him. I came I didn't over see him and either. I was looking, fucking looking down the valley, and someone said, bear. "Caribou, okay, caribou." So I was bear. There were so many fucking caribou tracks and horn tracks around. I was just wondering, like, why the yeah, fuck haven't we sure. seen a caribou yet? So this is a woodland caribou. So let's go over and we'll butcher him up. And uh, good thing we're close to camp. That's pretty good. That's uh, one. Nice small woodland caribou. Oh, he's probably a two or three year old, I would think. You see, he's still in full velvet. So, oh, he's starting, his velvet was just starting to peel, see? It's starting to peel off a bit, so they're just peeling now. But that's good, we'll, uh, we'll get him skinned and corded up and we'll divvy up the meat in four packs and pack him back to camp. So we got our woodland caribou all quartered up. And we are all loaded with meat. Oh, got a lot of meat in our backpacks now. It's not the same as packing a uh, sheep, huh? So we're just headed back now to a little creek bed here. And uh, hit the creek bed and it's not such a long walk out of here. So it's going to be good. It's going to be a good day, I tell you. Or it was a good day. Now this creek bed here we're following should lead us back to No Name Lake at the, uh, where we're camped. Once we get back to Lake, then it's just a matter of walking through the shoreline. Oh, right on, there's some water up there. We'll stop and have a good wash, AJ. Hey, yeah, that's... a pretty good hunt today so far. One uh, woodland caribou today. That's good. Not a sheep, but we're also hunting caribou like we stated at the beginning of the hunt. Well, everyone's got their caribou tags and everything, so it's all good. There was three there, fuck the other two are so close. Could have shot all three of them. But that would be way too much to pack out of here. Whew. How you guys doing? <laughs> hunting out its finest, huh? Fucking hunting with a backpack, man. In the mountains. Fuck me and the goat ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take this pack off here. Oh, oh. A lot of fucking caribou meat. Caribou meat in our packs, man. We, we divvied, divvied that whole fucking caribou up and all that was left there was the guts and the hide oh. and the head. Took the tongue and everything. Anybody else's pants falling down? Yep. Yeah, well, fucking mine too. Keeps pushing them down, huh? Okay, you can have a quick wash here. We finally found some water. As you can see, we're all still bloody. <laughs> what do you figure, Jay? This is yeah, it's it's good, but this is tough, man. <laughs> Fucking right. Not for the faint-hearted at all. <sighs> Camp day tomorrow. Camp day tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we're gonna fucking pan for gold and make videos. Fly there to get the drone up in the air. Hang out. So we're not too very much farther. Camps down on the lake there, about straight ahead. Got about another kilometer to go. I don't know what how are we doing for time there, uh, Ian. 740. 740, that's not too bad. So that should put us back in camp at about 8 o'clock. Uh, that'll be good. Head back to camp and have a nice cold beer. Oh, Fuck. How did that or 10, yeah, fucking right. Now we're talking. Well we made her back to camp all right. Got her back in one piece, got all our meat uh, put away and taken care of for the night. Uh, so now we're going to have some woodland caribou for supper and uh, take her easy, relax. We're all pretty beat here today, pretty tired, so Charlie boy, he's doing all right. Hey, Charlie. Oh, yeah. You're going to have some good, good woodland caribou meat, my boy. Yeah, Charlie's doing pretty good now just hopefully he hangs tight here for a couple more days till the plane comes to get us he'll pull through you're tough Charlie you're tough a good boy Charlie's we'll have some good caribou meat for supper soon you just rest my boy 
What we got going on here? Some caribou meat, some onions. This is backstrap caribou meat. Beer to go with it as well. Uh, I think we got some beans on the go. Uh, Jay, he's the cook tonight. So, hey, Jay hey. in here, he's... The caribou backstrap, fried oh, onions yeah. and garlic and butter. Oh, yeah. That's, Look at that. That's gonna be good, all right. And a good cook he is. Oh yes, no, he's a great cook. If, you, if I ain't cooking, you're a good cook. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll eat anything. Give me a raw potato. I don't care, whatever. Is this plate I just nope. That's I good. Just so anyways, it's a pretty good day today. We headed up uh, in the morning, went looking for some sheep that were spotted uh, the day before. They weren't really in the area. Uh, coming back, we seen three caribou there. We shot one caribou. Uh, could have shot a couple more, but you got to pack it out here. And, you know, we're, we're not out here. We're not trophy hunting. We're not out here to shoot everything we see. We're just out here to enjoy ourselves, uh, enjoy the beautiful scenery, and uh, harvest a couple animals. So we got a bit of meat now, so it's looking pretty good. So damn good, I tell you. So I was a the when we hauled the dull sheep back, it was all right. You know, that's not a whole lot of meat compared to <laughs> a woodland caribou. So we got that guy, the four of us divvied it up. I think Will had the most, he had two quarters in one pack. Good job on that, Will, that was a fucking heavy pack there you were packing. And uh, we all made her back in one piece. We'll have some supper, drink a couple beer, and I think tomorrow we're gonna go gold panning and play around with uh, Jay's drone. drone. He's got a DJI 4. The DJI Phantom 3. Phantom but 3. You can imagine what this looks like from the air. Oh yeah. Like, wow. I can't wait to put that thing up tomorrow. It'll be cool. We'll show you guys. Yeah, I know. Show you guys some footage. It'll be amazing. For sure. Fuck. So three days of hunting hard, putting on the miles and stuff. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be a laid back more day. Like I said, we're gonna get some gold pans out, make some videos, uh, play around with the quadcopter, and uh, do a little bit of work around here. Maybe cut some more wood and just uh, just enjoy the beautiful scenery, man. Just enjoy it. Pretty nice out here. We're right off the grid. There's no such thing as cell phone out here or nothing like that. So we're uh, pretty much in the middle of nowhere. I don't think you could get any farther away from civilization than we are right no. now. <laughs> Not at all, man. Uh, we are alone out here. Which yes. Is, which is the point. Yeah. That's right. awesome. I seen one plane fly over yesterday and that was it. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, one, well one, a jet, a big jet flying over. When you guys were hunting and I was in camp, I seen one jet fly over and that was it. And I was like, ah. What anniversary? But it's all good, man. So what do you figure, Jay? It's, it's been three days of hunting so far, three days straight. And it's been hard. It's the hardest shit I've ever done in my whole life. I don't think if you even, I, I don't even know if you can train for this type of stuff. I mean, we're, we're hiking up that. We hiked down that yesterday. I mean, yeah. That looks insane from here, and we did that. Yeah. <laughs> and so what's what? what's good though is like, you know, you, I I was pretty scared at, at certain points. I mean, it's super steep. It's really hard. You have a heavy backpack, but after you're done, you realize that you're able to push yourself and you're able to accomplish these things. And I mean, I've I've accomplished things on this trip that I've never I never thought I could do this type of stuff. Um, but it's trial by fire. There's no fucking around out here. That's right. That's right. Okay, guys, we're going to finish our supper here, have a couple more beer, and uh, like I said, enjoy the evening. Hopefully, uh, it clears up a bit and we get some northern lights here tonight. Jay's actually also got a uh, the new Hero 4, and it's got the... Do a time lapse right now. They're doing a time lapse. Now, what was that? That was a night lapse. Yeah, we'll do a night lapse. So we got... We got, uh, we did a night lapse the other night and we got some decent aurora. We'll try it again for the next two or three nights. If it clears up tonight, we'll give it a shot. That'd be fucking cool, man. Um, yeah, but we'll try to get you guys some northern lights. 
That's on Because the, they're out. They come out. It was pretty cool the other night. Yeah. Anyways, guys, supper, beer, and then bed. Talk to you guys another day.